The problem I'm going to do is a cumulative fatigue damage problem. Problem statement says that for the loading block stress history shown, estimate the number of repetitions of the loading block that can be made before failure. The material is given as 4130 quenched and tempered to 380 Brunel hardness. The units are in KSI. And we are given three cycles and sigma max and sigma min for each. The approach to this problem that I'm going to take is first to solve for sigma average and mean for each cycle, and then to find all of these constants. Next, um, break them down to the three cycles, solve for um, capital N sub I for each, and then use Miner's rule to find N. Okay. So first to solve for sigma A, sigma A is equal to sigma max minus sigma min over 2, so you get equal to 125 minus negative 75 divided by 2, which is 100, and then sigma m is equal to sigma max plus sigma min divided by 2, so that's 125 plus negative 75 divided by 2, that equals 25. If you uh, do that process for all the other ones, you get 100. 12.5, 12 12.5, 12 25, 62.5, and a 62.5. The next thing you need to do is go to the tables that will either be provided or given in a reference manual. In this case, uh, the, this table was provided from the professor. So you look for the 4130 quenched and tempered. And then the, but there's multiple options, so you go to the Brunel hardness, that was given as 380. So then you look, here's the tensile strength and here's the yield strength. In this case, we want the tensile strength, so we use this 186 KSI, and that is equal to, so UT is 186 KSI, okay? Then we, now we can start solving for all the constants, so sigma f prime is equal to sut plus 50, that comes to 236 ksi, and then s sub e prime is equal to 0 0.506 s sub ut which comes out to 94.116 KSI, okay? In this case, in the problem statement, there is no mention of any constants, so usually SE is equal to KA times KB times KC times KCD times KE and then S sub E prime. But in this case, it was we were not told to add any of these factors, so we just say S sub E is equal to S sub E prime. You should be able to find these in a reference manual, or they should be given to you. But we don't have to add them for this problem. So we can move on to solving for the equations. Um, so now we have all of these variables. So negative log sigma f, which is that 236 ksi, that's divided by the 94.116 ksi, and that's all divided by the log of 2 times n sub e. Now n sub e is always the same value, it's always going to be 1 times 10 to the 6th, so you can just put that down as 2 times 10 to the 6th here. And n sub b e has no units. So actually all the new units cancel out for b, and we're just left with negative 0 0.06336. Okay? Now we use that b, these variables, to solve for f. So you get 236 ksi divided by 186 KSI times 
2 times 10 to the third raised to the negative 0 0.06336. Once you simplify, f comes out to equal 0 0.7839, and again, this has no units. Now we can solve for a, which is 0 0.7839 squared times 186 KSI squared divided by S sub E which is 94.116 KSI simplifying that out A is equal to 225.859 and this does have units of KSI because one KSI cancels with the one down here